Hello everyone, today we will talk about measuring intrinsic viscosity with our devices and especially with our purpose-built IV tester. Markus here with a new Gottford Roundtable episode. Okay, first of all, what is intrinsic viscosity actually? Well, the intrinsic viscosity, or IV for short, is also known as the Staudinger Index. It describes the structural and also rheological properties of concentrated solutions and polymer melts in the unit cubic centimeters per gram. It's mostly used to characterize the average molecular weight of PET or polyamide based polymers. The standard method to measure the IV is performed with solvents and in wet chemistry. This makes the usual procedure demanding and also quite time consuming to execute. With our systems, we can offer a simpler and also faster alternative with a slightly different approach. Most of our rheological measurement systems can actually be used to also measure the IV value using a correlation. First of all, we have our IV tester. This device is optimized for ease of operation and has a user interface especially designed and also simplified for IV testing. You can also use all of our standard melt indexers to determine the IV and this includes also our fully automated MI Robo system. Even our high pressure capillary rheometers of the RG series or various online rheometers can be used to determine IV results. Okay, now let's look at the actual workflow with the IV tester here. The IV tester is actually a slightly modified melt indexer. It consists of a heated barrel with a capillary at the bottom. P and PT and PA are hydrophilic. That means uh, they actually take up moisture from the surrounding. And that means we need to dry it before we can test it. For that we either can use a oven or we can also use a humidity tester for even faster drying. After the sample is dried, we fill it into the barrel and we will place a piston on top and then a weight on top. After a short melting time, the piston is then released and it presses the polymer through the capillary while the system automatically is measuring the piston speed. After the test is done, the IV is directly calculated and displayed on the screen. Overall, the procedure is quite fast. The trying, especially in the humidity tester, can be done in maybe 30 minutes, sometimes a bit longer. And the test itself is usually done in 10 to 15 minutes and that even includes the cleaning afterwards. Okay, one more thing I should mention here is that we do not directly measure the IV, but we measure a shear viscosity and then translate the result to an IV using a correlation. For that we need to use either our standard correlation or you can also build a custom correlation for your material specifically. The big advantage of our IV tester here is that the determination of the correlation is directly implemented in the user interface of the device. And um, to build a custom correlation, correlation you need to have at least five representative samples with standard IV results and then you also run them on the IV tester and after that you have your correlation, can store it and can use it for the future and the test size is easy as I described before. Sometimes our standard correlation also just works fine, makes sense to first verify that but then it's even simpler to use in the end. Let's summarize. Nearly all of our rheological testing equipment can be actually used to determine the IV. We also built this special machine, the so-called IV tester, that's optimized for exactly this test. The test itself, especially using the IV tester, is fast and easy and everyone can actually perform it after a short training. And this makes the IV tester optimally suited for QC applications during production or also for incoming goods inspection. Okay, I hope that sparked some interest. Feel free to contact us for further information and thank you very much for your interest in our videos. Stay tuned for further Gottfried Roundtable videos. Have a nice day.